Nothing else. 48 minutes for everybody who's here. Do you understand this? Yes, go. Do you understand this? Yes, go. One of the most expensive cards in the game. 83 speed, 82 jump. It comes out tonight. Do not put anything in this locker room when you walk out. I gotta stay with this. It's his only chance. I gotta stay with it! You play this game until you are empty. I don't care what you do. When your boss is trying to run, you come back empty when I throw you in this stuff and you go away. Do you understand? Yeah! Wheel of College Ultimate Team. We start with an all-silver lineup, and each episode we get to spin the Wheel of College Ultimate Team three times. We'll use this wheel to upgrade our squad and hop into a game. If we win, we keep all the players and we move on. If we lose, the team is reset and we're back to the drawing board. With the end goal of winning the College Football National Championship and building a dominant God Squad. Additionally, at the very start, I get three prestige players. Prestige players are locked into my lineup and we're always entitled to the best version possible and I won't lie to you boys deciding prestige players for wheel of cut has been so difficult there's hundred thirty four programs and my goal is to pick players that are definitely gonna get a better card down the line so we can instantly add them to our team so with that in mind our very first prestige player is Colorado's Travis Hunter I know big shock I love Travis Hunter here because not only does he have an 85 overall really solid wide receiver card but he's virtually guaranteed better cards down the line he's also a very unique prestige because travis hunter should eventually get a corner card as well where we'd basically be getting two players in one for now though we've got the 85 overall wide receiver he's going to be a huge threat on my all silver offense but unfortunately these core elite cards cannot get any abilities so we'll be rocking travis hunter's stock he's still going to be crazy good and trust me as a michigan state fan this one hurts but the best corner in the game, one of the most expensive cards in the game, 89 overall Will Johnson. I hate to admit it, but Will Johnson may be the best defensive player in college football this season. And not only that, but corner is one of the most important positions to prestige. Will Johnson, 6'2", 202, 88 speed, 87 excel. He's going to be a dominant stud for probably two straight months, even if he never gets another card. Not only that, but there's three corners out there. Sometimes there's four, depending on what defense set we're running. It's crucial that I have good corners. Zachary Evans and Chris Mills are my other corners right now, but luckily, I got the best card in the game in 89, Will Johnson. You had to have known this card is good if I was gonna pick up a Michigan player. Not only that, but he does get abilities too. He gets the ability Ball Hawk. It's only bronze tier, but it's slightly improved ability to break after a pass has been released. I'm absolutely adding that. I'm also gonna give him a robber. Slightly improved movement and zone coverage. After playing college football for about a week, I definitely run seven 75% zone, 25% man. So Robert's gonna be huge. And all that leaves is my third and final prestige player. He comes from an orange school in the SEC. It's James Pierce Jr. James Pierce is one of the best edge rushers in college football. If anybody's gonna get an upgraded card, I think it's gonna be James Pierce. This was so difficult with college. But regardless of that, he's still a monster. 82 speed is crazy fast for an edge rusher and scrambling quarterbacks are really good this year. So not only is is he going to be a good contain guy, but he's also got 81 block shed, 82 power, 83 finesse. He's an incredibly well-rounded 6'5", 242 pound edge rusher. James Pierce Jr. is the cornerstone of my D-line. That leaves us with two defensive prestiges, James Pierce and Will Johnson, and one offensive prestige, Travis Hunter. That means that this 70 overall lineup is what we're stuck with for right now. A few more rules to remember. If I make the College Football National Championship, I can prestige one more player that's currently on our lineup. So hopefully over the course of this season, we'll assemble some really solid players, make the national championship, and add one prestige to that list. And my favorite rule of all is a Panini Immaculate Collegiate Football Box. These things are about $1,000 a piece, and there's only six cards in them. If I ever drop 40 points or more in a game, I'm entitled to open this box. I'll give away every single card we pull, and I can add one player from the box 
to our lineup. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be quite the uphill battle to score 40 points with this lineup, but that's what we got the wheel for. And the final thing before we spin the wheel is determining our team. Now, not only will this determine my jerseys and stadium, but most importantly, it'll determine my offensive and defensive playbooks for the entire season. We also get to take one player from that team as our team captain. Now, normally I would spin a wheel with all 134 programs, but for this first season, I'm only doing the top 10 teams. I thought it'd be a fun way to kick off this year. So let's get after it, boys. Our team for the inaugural season. Florida State? No, Oregon. The Oregon Ducks. Oh, what a nasty team to get. Let me set this lineup and then we'll talk about team captain. All right, boys, we're in Autzen Stadium. The Ducks uniforms are absolutely gorgeous. I'm so geeked about that. And we've got Oregon Ducks offensive and defensive playbook. Now, I know that their offensive playbook is really good. Defensively, I'm not sure. They run a 3-4, which might not be bad since we have such a stud edge rusher, James Pierce, and we'll only be using one D tackle for most of the time. But it does mean I've got to work on my linebackers. Keep in mind, just because Oregon is a 3-4 defense, it doesn't mean they don't have other sets like nickel and dime. I'll just have to hop in the game to see. Their offense was pretty expensive on the auction house, though, so I imagine it's a really cool offense. And now we can pick any single player in the game who's an Oregon Duck. And there's one name that comes to mind already. Now, the highest overall Oregon Duck is Marcus Mariota, 86 overall, starting this season with an insane quarterback. Oh my god, that would be a beautiful start. Other options would be Terrence Ferguson, tight end, and of course, there is Dylan Gabriel as well. There's also Jordan James, the power back. There's Jabbar Muhammad, a really good corner. Evan Stewart, Jamari Caldwell. But I'll be honest, this decision was made for us. Marcus Mariota is literally the best quarterback in this game. I don't think we could have started Wheel of Cut any better. Mariota, welcome to the team. This does mean we will get offensive abilities now. Mobile Deadeye is one of my favorites. This is only bronze tier, but you get slightly better accuracy up to 20 yards down the field when you're scrambling. Definitely gonna rock that. I'm also actually actually going to use recoup silver tier. I have a feeling I will be scrambling a lot with Mariota. I'm going to need him to have some wind in the sails. And I think it's only right that Mariota gets fan favorite. Slightly increased composure gains at home. So at the very start of this season, it's Mariota and Travis Hunter anchoring the offense. It's Will Johnson and James Pierce Jr. anchoring the defense. Got a lot of work to do, but I'm excited. All right, boys, our very first spin of Wheel of College Ultimate Team. Every player here on out is on the line. If we lose the game, we can't keep them. And our first ever player is an In Case You Missed It, 80 to 83. So in case you missed this promo, that's such a bad pun, I'm sorry. It has some absolute studs in it, like Hunter Renfro, Joey Bosa, there's a Todd Gurley. But those are 85 overalls. I can only choose between the 80 to 83s. There's Maxwell Hairston, an 82 overall corner. There's Quinton Cooley, a Liberty power back, 83 overall, and an 83 wide receiver. Honestly, I'm not sure I can survive an entire season with a silver running back. I think I'm gonna go with Quentin Cooley here. This is a weird power back. He's 5'7", 210, 80 speed, 82 excel. He's certainly not insanely good. And down the line, we could look to upgrade Quentin Cooley. But for now, I need to have weapons on offense. We've got Cooley, we've got Travis, we've got Mariota. First wheel spin lands us in 83 overall. The backfield's looking a little better. That takes us to our second wheel spin. Best case scenario right now is packs from the store. I don't know that we're gonna get it. We are not gonna get it. Ooh, I didn't think I'd get a mini game this early. I like it. Running back mini game, 25K per. So if I don't even get bronze, we get zero coins. Bronze is 25K, silver is 50K, and gold is 75,000 coins to spend on one player. Now, I think it's only fair that I make my team random for this, and we'll be taking on the Arizona Wildcats. I'm gonna hit random one time. I certainly hope SMU has a good back. We're gonna rock rushing attack close quarters. Vade the defender, score as many touchdowns as possible. Bonus points for successful skill moves and touchdowns increase my multiplier. All right, SMU's running back night and I'm hoping we got a good fullback too. That's a good, that's a wicked fast spin. Oh, this guy's crap. He's got the, he's got the juicy spin. Oh, it's so OP for the record. I didn't even mean to spin that way. Let's go for the juke, no? Ooh, stay up, night in. Good block. Ooh, gotta grab at least Brown. Okay. Jeez, that spin. Yeah, if you guys haven't learned, spin is OP. We got bronze early. We just got to stay strong here. Ooh, good broken tackle, night in. SMU was definitely... Oh, that's wicked, dude. No, what am I doing? Oh. I tried to show both. Wait a minute. If I don't get gold, I'm going to cry. I need 45,000 points for gold. Did I sell? Lock the spin, dude. 
Honestly, yeah, right you may have to know spin. I'm not even gonna lie. This game's nasty, but dude, that's so stupid. Oh, uh, SMU, I love you, man. I just can't lose yards here. We maintain gold. And Knighton is gonna take this one in. 61,000 points. That is gold. We maxed out the drill. We can spend 75,000 coins on one player. We have no linebackers, no safeties, no offensive line, no tight end. 75,000 coins would get us an 84, maybe. I feel like we need a user middle linebacker. And it's not gonna get me an 84. They're too expensive. It's gonna maybe get me an 83. All right, it will get me an 83 middle linebacker. We gotta figure out who the best guy is. Jesus Machado. Six foot one with 77 speed. There's gotta be somebody better than that. Syracuse, Marlo Wax. 6178 speed. He is marginally better. All right, UCLA's middle linebacker is actually the best option so far. 63250 speed. The only problem is I would have to pronounce this name multiple times a game. Oluwamaf. Oh, Oluwu. Fuck! Oluwafumi Oladejo. Oladejo. Oladejo? He's really good, though. He's honestly really good. Florida's Shamar James. 81 speed, 82 excel, 6 foot 1. This is actually our best option. We barely have enough, too. It's really good we got gold. He's 70,000 coins. We've got ourselves a user middle linebacker. Shamar James. And that lands us to our third and final wheel spin. We've got a halfback. We've got a middle linebacker. And it's a conference. Oh, we're going to get a big boy here. It just depends on from what conference. So any single player, they have to come from this conference. It's going to be American or Sunbelt. <laughs> they probably shouldn't be next to each other if I'm being honest. Listen, I'm not backing down. We're going to find a stud. So the American Conference has some interesting teams. You've got SMU, Tulane, the Roadrunners, Memphis, South Florida, Rice, Navy, North Texas, Florida Atlantic. You got the Blazers, Tulsa, Charlotte, Temple, East Carolina. And luckily, you can actually sort by conference. Oh no, these filters don't work. That's actually so sad. That was going to make my life so easy. Get started on the offensive line. Tulane's got a stud, Vincent Murphy. This is a little unorthodox, but the American American Conference has handed me an 84 overall two-lane center, and I'm not going to pass him up. Vincent Murphy, welcome to the squad. I have a bad habit of neglecting my offensive line until it's a little too late, so starting this early, I'm actually pretty excited about it. Now, at the same time, I did neglect so many positions, but there's only so much we can do on this first episode. Vincent Murphy on the O-line, Quentin Cooley, Travis Hunter, and Mariota. So four players on offense. On defense, we've got three. That's Will Johnson, Shamar James, and James Pierce Jr. Offensively, we just have to facilitate the offense through these three guys. Travis Hunter, Cooley, and Mariota. If somebody's butt naked wide open, you know, Kenny Vega, Devin Zimmerman, Gervais Johnson, you guys may get a rep, but no promises, all right? All right, gentlemen, our players are locked in. The final thing is the challenge wheel. Completing this challenge gets me one of any pack in the store. And our challenge today is to convert two two-point conversions. So we've got to score at least two touchdowns is what that's saying. But hopefully we can score three or four. We just got to convert at least two of those two-point conversions and we'll be smooth sailing. All right, boys, we're a 72 overall. Ariota, Will Johnson, Travis Hunter, James Pierce Jr., and Shamar James make up the top five players on this lineup. We're the Oregon Ducks and our regular season record is zero and zero. Keep in mind, it's five wins to make the playoffs. And then you got to go undefeated from there to make the national championship. But after three losses, the full season resets. Meaning, if I get three losses before I get five wins, my entire lineup resets. I rarely go out in the regular season, and I really don't want our first season of Wheel of Cut to go that way. So let's stay locked in, convert two two-point conversions, win this game, and keep all those stud players that we just added. This is always the scariest moment of any head-to-head -head game, seeing my opponent's top three. This will determine just how bad this is. There's our top three, Mariota, Will Johnson, Travis Hunter. His top three, Will Howard, Savian Williams, Caleb Downs. His overall is a 76 overall. We got Devin Zimmerman on a kick return here. Everybody's looking real slow, but <laughs> everyone's so fucking slow. Hey, that's good news. That means he's got some shitty players in the lineup. Hey, one big advantage I like right now is my quarterback. Mariota is a lot better than Will Howard. All right, I'm gonna start this game out with an inside zone. I'm gonna take it to the edge of Quentin Cooley. You gotta start getting used to this playbook. Second and 12. All right, double team on the right side. Mariota can roll out. I'm gonna send him up the field. Mariota is gonna fumble. That's not how you start the ball game. He's in flex bone, so he's got the base offensive playbook. Oh no. Okay, great stop. Is that James Pierce? 
All right, play action out of him. He gets nothing off. James Pierce Jr. gets home. There's Shamar James. All right, I got to stay on Shamar James. Okay. Oh, that's a good ball. We got to make a big tackle. No, he missed, and so does Shamar James. But he's too damn slow. He's beefy, though. Damn, he was fighting. This is a run. We got to send an all-out blitz here. I'm going to run commit middle, and I got to go with Ormont here. This is definitely a run. It is a run. All right, let's pick it up, boys. Let's use our strengths. We got Travis Hunter. Nate Carter's in? Yep. Play to our strengths, gentlemen. That's a playmaker. Can you make that ball, Mariota? Johnson's out to the races. I don't even know who that is. I know his name's Johnson, though. Oh, that's our tight end. All right, Mariota. We need more plays just like that. Dude, Nate Carter must be my, like, receiving back or something because Quentin Cooley's not in, which is a huge issue, honestly. Travis Hunter really just had a great release. Oh, I tried to float that ball up over top. Honestly, read option might be an elite play call here. Yeah, I mean, this utilizes two of the best players on this team. I'm just going to give this. Yep. Third and seven. I'm in field goal range. Kickers are pretty pitiful this early on, though. All right, third and seven. Travis Hunter, you're going to leave the best player. You're going to leave my best receiver? All right, we got a mesh spot here. I'm going to block Nate Carter. Hopefully, I can roll. He's going to follow B. I can throw A. That honestly could have been an interception. That was a risky ball. All right, we're going inside zone here, but for some reason, Quentin Cooley is not in. I'm third and seven. I'm rocking speed option. Cooley and Mariota. All right. Well, I got to pitch this. Can we get inside? Good spin, Cooley. It's fourth and two. You know damn well I'm going for this. I'm running the same play. Good blocks, but is it enough? Spin, Cooley, let's go. I'm fourth and two. A massive touchdown. Crowd is stunned. We've got to convert two two-point conversions. I think we got to look at Travis Hunter here. Look at the motion. Oh, Travis. What a route. It's Travis Hunter. Dude, that motion confused him so bad. Travis Hunter burn his man. We're halfway to our challenge. Now, there's one more rule to keep in mind with the challenge wheel. In the event that I lose but complete the challenge wheel, I can salvage one wheel spin. So, for example, if I completed the challenge but lost, I could keep Quentin Cooley or I could keep Shamar James. And I can also get absolutely torched. Can I slow you down enough? I sure can. I knew that was going to happen. It's going to happen all game. He's in gun-wide trips. And I got to be on Shamar James. I'm not going to be able to use him. He's going to go to the edge, bottled up. Second 11, I'm guessing pass. I don't see him running here. Throws half back. That was almost a mistake. Where's Shamar? Where's Shamar James? I'm on a D-tackle. Hey, James Pierce Jr. Huge play. 82 speed on the boy. It's fourth and 14 and he's going for it. Oh shit, what is this play? I gotta stay with this. It's his only chance. I gotta stay with it! Shamar James! Now it's a, it's a minor punt for him. I could have swatted that, but I think I made the right call. Just taking the ball and running. Let's go! Clamped across the field on fourth and 14. We got the ball back. I see Travis Hunter press coverage. What is this coverage? Okay, the safety is gonna follow it. I can't throw that. But I can go Nate Carter out of the backfield and I need to dive. I can't let him get smoked. He's such a low overall. All right, second and three. I've got to read the DB, which is a little ugly. Quentin Cooley. He can slither through those holes. Got to score here with not a lot of time left. That's the best case scenario. Ooh, it's a big blitz. It's a big blitz, and Mariota's got a lot of room. Oh, I was hoping that that wide receiver might give me a downfield block, but we'll take what we can get there. This is probably the same blitz. It is the same blitz, which is going to leave Quentin Cooley, and you can turn corners like no other in college football. Can we make a move? First and 10, it's the same blitz. It's going to leave Quentin Cooley again. Ooh, that time well covered. I got to call a timeout. I really could take a shot on Travis Hunter. Same blitz. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mariota, I'm going to get risky. Oh, that's so risky, man. Stop. Third and two. I have no timeouts left. Oh, I would have had RB. Let's just get rid of this one. I do think we take our field goal. It's a 29-yard field goal. I should be able to hit this right down the middle. 29-yard field goal. All right, this is actually really scary. My DBs are so bad. My safeties are so bad. I have to be back so deep on this. Give me on Shamar James. Probably just going to airmail it to this. Yep. Oh, wait. Let's make a play if we can. All right. Going into halftime up four. It's his ball. Good news is it looks like his kick returner on this right side is not a high overall because he was moving pretty slow. Like, if he had put his best wide receiver back there, I'd be in a lot of trouble. 
but we should be able to cover this and we do. Uh, he could make that throw if he remembers the button. Big no, Will Howard. Stop. Oh, he tries to pitch it. What's he doing? James Pierce Jr. has got it. I think he thought he kept the ball. That was a triple option. I think he still had it with his QB. Oh my God, huge mistake. And if I get this two point conversion, our challenge wheel's complete. That was the biggest play of the game. And James Pierce Jr. is looking like he was the right prestige call. I don't know who I want here. I can't predetermine this. I just got to play it out. Big two point conversion. Step up, Mariota! It's Mariota, not Mariota, I'm sorry. But that's the challenge we'll complete. A 12-point lead after a huge defensive touchdown. He pitched it. He's, he's got the right play calls now. I mean, oh, if this is a stretch, I'm in trouble. If it's up the middle, I've got a chance. Oh, it's play action. <gasps> oh my God, wait a pick two. No, I dropped. Oh, pick two would have put me up eight. That was Will Johnson too. Will Johnson 100% could house that. Shit. Well, our two point conversions are coming in clutch. If I can get a field goal here, but no huddle, his no huddle offense, that's the move every time. I can't adjust fast enough. All right, Devin Zimmerman. Wait a minute. Devin Zimmerman breaks a tackle. Devin Zimmerman, the silver. That's huge. Wait a minute. We don't need a lot of yards. I can go chew clock here. And I just got to get us to, to an easier field goal. I think his safety is usury Nate Carter. Oh, it's not. It's this dude right here. Now it's second and nine. I'm going read option. If this is a keeper, he's in a lot of trouble. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Mariota's off to the races. He's got a good angle on me. I got a slide. That was scary as hell. But we'll take it. Step up with Mariota. What's he doing? He got stuck on a D tackle. Touchdown all but secures it. Field goal. A little scarier, but still a two possession lead. Cooley's in on the inside zone. We're going to cut this back. Got to remember, it's a two minute warning in college now. Who wins player of the game? Is it Shamar for that pick? Is it James Pierce Jr.? Pick six for fumble six? I don't know, but Quentin Cooley is going to get us up to first and goal. And he's going to have to start rifling off some timeouts here. Quentin Cooley. I got to take it. Two-point conversion. Mariota's going to be able to scramble this in. It's two free. Mariota is a cheat code. I'm so glad we got Oregon. 27 to 13. A commanding 14-point lead. And we've converted three of three two-point conversions. I have this dig. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness! Bailout central population you, bro. How did we drop that? Second and ten. I've got the mid seam. He's got the left side. He can't throw this. God, he is obsessed with throwing the ball that he can't throw. Will Johnson dropped it? Oh my God. Orville Redenbacher, get the popcorn off the fucking sidelines. Lock in and get your dicks out of your hands, boys. What kind of program are we running here? Dude, I'm actually like switching on and, and holding Y too, which is so crazy that we're dropping this. He also likes to stay in bounds, which is room temperature IQ. I've got this. Ooh, ooh, Will Howard. Get a little hobble step. Still in bounds. That was not a first, so he's really milking the clock on this one. We may have put this game away, boys. Come on, let me get one interception. Let me truly put it away. First and 10. He goes same ball. Don't you dare break that tackle. Timeout for him. If he, I mean, technically, if he scores fast enough, he can kick the onside kick, but he's got to score fast. Here. I'm actually going to hop on this corner, see if he tries to throw that again. Nope, he doesn't try to. Oh my God, he did. Holy shit, he called my bluff. I thought I had that bagged and he was gonna go somewhere else. Uh-oh, okay. I'm on Shamar James! 
Shamar, would you catch the goddamn football? It's an attributes thing. I don't have the catching. I'm literally holding Y on all of these. Holy shit, you really can't use your lurk like I thought. And he's not in. That clock is ticking. He's not in. I'm run committing middle, and I'm hopping on Johnson. Let's see if he does the same play action play. I bagged it last time. No, it's an actual handoff. And he's stuffed. Play Corum. Can't get in. That's not a sentence you heard a lot last year in college football. That dude was a fucking menace. I've got the bodies. I've got the numbers. I've got the personnel. He... Did he pitch it? I didn't think he was gonna get in. Dude, pitches are this guy's worst nightmare. And with one second left, the final play of the game, a handoff to Quentin Cooley, who could actually house this football. Look how close we are to the 40 bomb. Quentin Cooley, 96 yards, all the way. Sportsmanship be damn, ball game, 33 to 13 in our Wheel of Cut season opener. That was getting so scary for a second there. A marginal lead, the pitch ruined his life. He thought he kept the ball. A lot of players are gonna do that because they switch the options. And their player of the game is a hat trick for Quentin Cooley, 134 rushing yards, three touchdowns. He kind of stat padded 96 yards and a touchdown of that, but hey. We don't ask those questions. Quentin Cooley, James Pierce Jr., Will Johnson with a pick on a two point conversion and Mariota, a menace on the ground. All of our best players stepped up big. But me and Shamar James are going to be out in the yard practicing catches for the rest of our lives. We start the season 1-0, and and we honestly kind of came close to the 40 box. Squad's looking amazing, and I converted not two, but three two-point conversions, which means we get one pack from the store. I'm going to open a junior pack. You get 273+, plus, a 76+, plus, and an 80+. plus. Positions are super important when you open packs like this. Because if I get a quarterback as my rare, it's useless. The 76 left guard, William Jeffco. That's a, that's a huge upgrade, honestly. 77 right tackle, another huge upgrade. So far, this is going very well. 73 center doesn't do much for us. He could technically play as our other guard. And this is our rare player right here. Yo, a monster pull. Nebraska wide receiver, Isaiah Nayor. Six foot three, 215. 83 speed, 82 jump. This dude's a stud. He's almost as good as Travis Hunter. And we just pulled him right. Dude, what are the odds on getting an 84 in this? That's a huge pull. Your odds on an 84 plus are 21%. So we hit the one in five roll. That's nasty. So I'm going to pull Devin Zimmerman. He did have a really solid game, but uh, he's also my slot wide receiver. I need a good slot wide receiver. So Isaiah Nayor and Travis Hunter still got Kenny Vega, but dude, that's a massive upgrade. Also, I didn't even have Will Johnson's abilities activated. Ooh, okay. He's activated now. And dude, we got like some awesome O-line upgrades. So left guard goes from a 67 overall up to a 76 overall. And right tackle goes from a 66 overall with 77 overall. That's amazing. Also, Matthew Cornelius can come out for Drew Bobo. It's plus one. And that leaves our team at a 74 overall after the first game. We're looking so much better already, but obviously some massive holes to fill. Woo! We got our work cut out for us, boys, but that was a hell of a season opener. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a blast to make. See you guys in the next video. Peace!